Welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to program an ultrasonic sensor to detect and avoid obstacles. So again, this is my ultrasonic sensor. It's got like two infrared eyes. It kind of looks like the, the little bot Wally. I have mine connected with just a couple pieces to the front of my bot. I also have a short cable connecting it to port one. So just make sure yours is connected to the front of your bot before you begin this tutorial. So I just want to like talk about a couple things about how an ultrasonic sensor works. So an ultrasonic sensor sends out a very high frequency of sound wave and then it hits the object and bounces back. So it makes it so the ultrasonic sensor can calculate the distance between the front of the sensor over here and the object that's in front of them. So that's how it, it's all a matter of measurement. It measures the distance. So some things you should know before we begin. So the ultrasonic sensor can measure in centimeters from one to 250 centimeters in distance. And in inches, it can measure from one to 99 inches away. So I just want you to keep that in mind. I will show you when we're in the actual software what that looks like in the port view. Um, the lighting in my area is a little too dark for you to see on my EV3 brick. So I will show you when we open up the software. So let's go over there right now and I can show you how this looks. Now that we're in the Lego Mindstorm software, I want to show you in port view how you can see your ultrasonic sensor. So down here is port view. You can see our motors are up here, but in port number one, there is our ultrasonic sensor. And you can see we're in centimeters right now. This also reads inches and I will show you. But if I put my hand in front of it, you will see how the centimeters change. So I'm about five or so centimeters away. And if I move my hand back, I go further to about 14 centimeters. And if I get too close to the object, it will read 255 in centimeters. When you get too close or too far to an object, it will read at 255, 255 centimeters, which means it cannot do a reading. So you want to be aware of that. Again, if you want to change it to inches, all you do is click down here and choose distance in inches. And it does the exact same thing. You can put your hand in front and you can see when I'm closer, I'm closer in inches. And when I move back, it goes further, the distance. I'm about seven inches away, my hand. Now, if you get too close in inches, it's going to read 100.3. So if you're too close or too far away, it cannot read. You cannot read that distance. So just know if you see something that's 100.3, it will not read that distance in inches. Okay, so here we are. Why don't we begin our program? So let's create a simple program that can allow the ultrasonic sensors to detect obstacles. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to first name our program. Let's name this one Ultra sonic and we're keeping it in our same folder as previously when we we're working on obstacles the previous lesson was touch sensors so now we're working on ultrasonic so the first thing we need to do is go down here to the action tab and bring in a move steering because we want some movement on the bot so let's have it just stay on and set it let's keep it at 50 in speed the next thing we need to do is we need it to wait for the ultrasonic sensor. So we're going to go into the flow control and grab a weight block and put it in there. And we're going to go over here. And this time, instead of choosing touch sensors like we did in previous tutorial, we're going to choose the ultrasonic sensor and we're going to compare it. Now this is where you can choose. You can compare it in centimeters or inches. Um, for this project, I'm going to compare it in inches. So I'm going to put inches down and I'm going to change it to five inches. So right now we're telling it that when you move forward, if it's less than five inches from an object, we're going to tell it to stop. 
So we're actually going to have to add another action button in there, a move steering, and set this to off to tell it to stop. So again, we have it moving forward, and then it's going to wait, and if it's less than five inches from an object, it's going to stop. So let's test this. Let's download it and run. So we're just about ready to test to see if the ultrasonic sensor can stop about a little less than five inches away from the wall. So here we go. Looks pretty good. It looks like it did exactly what we wanted it to do on the program. So let's add on to our program, but let's measure a little differently when we add a new weight block into our program. So right now we have it moving straight and when it is near less than five inches towards an object like the wall or another kind of object, it is going to stop. What we're going to do is we're going to add to the program that we want it to back up 10 inches from the object or the wall. Right now we have it 5 inches from the wall or the object. We want it to go 10 inches, which means we need to back it up 5 more, in, in, five more inches. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go in to the Action tab and grab a Move Steering block and place it in here and this time we want it to back up so we're just going to keep it on the on button and we're going to do negative 50 to watch it go backwards you can see it's going the other way now what we want to do is go into the flow control grab another weight block but this time instead of coming down here to ultrasonic and use the compare distance in inches, we're going to choose change distance in inches. And we're going to make this five because we need it to have five more inches. We need it to increase, I forgot to say. So here, when you're doing changes, you can only do it in increase or decrease. So we can either choose zero for increase or one for decrease. And we want it to increase by five inches, so we're going to choose zero. So now we have our bot doing a movement going straight right here. Then it comes to an object or such as the wall. And if it's less than five inches from the wall, it's going to stop. Then it's going to stop and start going backwards but only five inches because we told it to increase by five inches. So the difference is here when you're comparing you're using greater and less than and over here you're using increase and decrease. So the last thing we need in here is to go back to our action block and grab a move steering and we want it to stop after it does all those moves. So we're just going to click on off. So let's test that and see if it works. So let's run our program and see if it works. We're going to, the program is saying that when we get within less than five inches of an object, such as the wall we're going to be using here, that the bot will stop then it will move backwards five inches. So let's say. Perfect. As you can see, we were able to create a simple program using two different weight blocks to help with measuring the distance between an object and the ultras ultrasonic sensor. Here we used the comparison measurement where we can go less than and greater than a certain number in inches for the object to, to detect the object and then we told it to stop. Over here we used the change measurement which allowed us to 
increase over here, increase or decrease how many inches? And we chose to increase by five inches. So it ended up moving backwards five inches. So again, um, this is a nice simple program to introduce the ultrasonic uh, sensor and how you can use either the comparison, uh, either comparing or um, change for ultrasonic in measurements. I just want to clean up the program and just show you how you could create um, a loop to make a, a infinite uh, pattern with this. So I'm going to quickly say that we could get rid of the stop button and I would go down to the action and bring another move steering in and what I would like to do is make this turn to the right. So I would bring this all the way to 100, keep it at one rotation. So what will happen is when it moves backwards five inches, it will turn to the right. And then we're going to loop this whole entire program. So we come down here to the flow control tab. We bring in a loop block and we're going to put everything inside the loop box. Loop box. Uh, loop block, excuse me. So now when I download this program, this program will continue to ru continuously run. Every time it touches an object, it will stop five seconds. Uh, it will stop within five seconds, less than five seconds in front of the object. It'll stop, then it'll move backwards for five seconds. It'll rotate right, and it'll go on its way again, and it'll keep doing that until I manually stop the program. So let's test it and see how it works. So here's my bot, and we're going to watch how it does a continuous loop. I hope you were able to get some useful tips on how to use the ultrasonic sensor um, and programming it with this tutorial. And I encourage you to continue trying to create your own programs or even expanding off the program I have here already. And I look forward to creating further tutorials.